Alright, today we're going to do a test on showing you how the auxiliary air system brings up our charge nicely on the uh, U1350-1550 machine we built here. So we're going to go in for a startup with pretty much zero PSI. I'm going to fire up the motor and we're going to engage the auxiliary compressors. So as you can see, we're at zero bar. And here we go. So we're going to engage the compressors. We're going to bring engine RPM up to about a thousand RPM. A little under. Once we reach seven and a half bar, we're able to operate. Cut out on this thing is 18, 18 and a half. But if you're in a hurry to get uh, the truck rolling, for instance, you're smoking out your uh, tent campers next to you, or you're somewhere where you probably shouldn't be and someone's looking for you, this is a pretty nice feature right here. So right now, I actually should be able to disengage my park brake, even though the second tank's not there. So we are operational. I'm actually ready to move now. So we'll switch from the high-low side of the gear. Pretty impressive. So I'll go ahead and bring down the engine idle, and I'll go ahead and turn this off. And there you go. I might as well look. We also have on this machine a central tire inflation system. So dual gauge unit there. This guy here is for the compressor. Just straight compressor on. This is compressor on and activating it, tying it to the rest of the system. You could keep it separated or you could have it together. Currently the electric compressor is what uh, runs the CTIS system. This is for selecting which axle you want. Excuse me, if you want it up or down, of course. So up, down, we'll select which one we want. Front, rear, or both. And then this is our hydraulic winch. We also have a remote control up in the front as well. This is a tank selector for tank one or two on that guy. And then we have some auxiliary lights here as well. And some more auxiliary lights. But, uh, and then just over on this side is our Boost and EGT gauge. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward gauge. We've had a lot of luck with this thing over the last seven years, so we kind of stick with what we uh, enjoy. And then, of course, you've got our selectable overdrive. And, you know, some guys say having something that cool is like masturbating in the dark or looking at porn in the dark. But you know what? It still feels good in your hand. We do a nice 6061 aluminum billet aluminum lever instead of the plastic one, which is just kind of chintzy and subject to your fear grip of breaking it. Okay. Have a good one.